welcome back now in this video we will create a logout button so from that the user will simply log out from the app for that we will create a method right down in here and we will say white it's going to be private and the name will be logout as you tell you it's going to tell you contacts and right in there first we will create our instance for the firebase auth so in here we will say final and firebase auth I'm gonna name this as auth and firebase auth dot instance right after we will create a show dialog in here in which we will implement the code for the logout button so there will be kind of dialog box so let's go and implement that so in here we will say show dialog is going to take the contacts builder we will remove it for now we will just add it in a while right in here put semicolon and drag this down now right in the show it all out we will say contacts to contacts and we will take the builder property in their contacts tag this down and right in there we will simply return the alert dialog in here semicolon and tag this down right in there first we will set the background color we will go with the colors dot black 54 so it's going to be a little dim in shade right after we will say title and then row widget take this down can say the children and right in there we will do some padding as usual and here comma take this down and in sec we will go with the dot all in which we will set it to 8.0 and take this down now we will set the icon so in here child icon they're gonna be the icon for the logout so in here icons dot logout there we go you can choose whatever you want I'll go with the logout one so that's fine put comma and then let's set the color for it color is gonna be white also we will set the size to 36 we will set it according to the design whenever we run the app and now let's have the text for the sign out button so right down below in here we will do padding okay comma in here and tag this down padding as in sec We'll go with the dot all set it to 8.0 take this down child let's have the text now we will say sign out let's do some style for that and text style as usual in which we will simply set the color we will go with the colors dot white and set the font size to 20 all fine now right down in here we will say content and right in the content we will have a tax widget so now this time we will show to the user do you want to 
logout the question mark so we will ask this question and then we'll do some style for that text or so text style there we go in here we'll set the color color is gonna be white there we go and right auto let's set the font size set it to 20 it's gonna be a little small in size on that side button it's 28 it's gonna be 20 and we will implement the tax button for the yes and no button so let's go and do that down in here so we will say action and then right in there we will say tax button it's gonna take the on press and also as you guys can see child remove that for now we will add it just in a while here comma take this down and on pressed event okay we will leave this empty for now we will come back right to it later so head down in here we will say child and when I have a text widget first you will implement the UI so Let's go and do that now. Let's do a style. Text style. Set the color. Color is gonna be let's say green for the no button. And right after let's set the font size. We'll set it to 18. Now let's move further. We will have another text button. So for a time saving, we will copy that text button from here to here, copy it and paste it down in here. As you guys can see, and we will change this to yes. And we will leave the on press even empty for now. We will work on that later. So all fine now we will remove those yellow lines so the code will be clean there we go it's added right there we will simply cut it from here ok and add it in front of this text widget ok cut it from here and add it in front of this text widget all fine the code is clean now as you guys can see now let's go and add the icon for the logout right in here so let me copy that from here and we will paste it down in here we will remove that icon and we will go with the exit to add that one so all fine now what we will do and guys one more thing it's gonna be on the fourth index okay so in here we will copy that for a time saving and in here paste it and we will say if the index equals to the fourth one then we will simply let's remove that for now okay remove it simply and we will call upon the method that we just created the logout one okay it is going to take the contacts as you guys know already semicolon at the end so as you guys can see right in here now simply you will click on this just run mandroid dot or reload the app and you guys will notice the output just in a while there we go with the logout icon exit to app ok that one just right in here 
okay now just click on that and there we go the dialog box alert dialog let me show you that there we go with the alert dialog okay and all of the work can just right inside that for example the logout icon there we go and also the tax right in here sign out with the color and font size is fine and also as you guys can see the content you want to log out right in the tax widget there we go okay and everything is just fine also the tax button right in the action okay yes and there we go with the now for now this will not work because we leave that on press event empty okay so there is nothing for now so if we click it's not working because we leave this empty so we will work on that just in a while so let's go now and work on the on press event first we will work on the no one okay there we go so we will say navigator dot can pop if there will be any kind of dialog box if appears then in that case right in the end you will remove that with the help of navigator dot right in there pop context so you will remove it and also if there will be nothing no or in dialog box so you will say no semicolon at the end now we will copy that and we will do the same for the yes one okay right in the on press even in here past it and right after what we will do we will say navigator whenever it will remove the dialog box so we will say navigator dot push replacement gonna take the contacts we will push the user to the user state so in here we will provide the material page root there we go and in here let's set it to the user state right at the end semicolon so there we go okay we are done with the on press even for the text button of no and also the yes one now just hold reload the app now we are on the job screen let's go towards the logout one there we go now if i press on no it will just remove that dollar box let us go and click on that there we go it's working totally fine okay now let's go back again this time we will simply log out the user just click on that yes as you guys can see right in here it didn't log out the user it just pushed the user to the job screen because we didn't add the authentication for the sauna so what we will do right in this on press even in the s1 we will just add the authentication dot sign out semicolon at the end now you simply want to load the app or you can press the controllers now let's go back to the sign out there we go and if I click on this it will simply log out the user there we go it's working totally fine and you guys can see that we are on the login screen I will log in again in here I'll put the password it was ijob clone app visibility of login there we go now we are on the job screen and that is working totally fine and that's all the working for the boat and navigation bar
we have successfully add all of the screens like for example the job screen also the all worker screens also the upload job now and the second one is profile screen and the last one just a sign up you guys know already so basically that's it for this video right from the next video we will work further see ya